Hi, my name is Charlie and I'm the Running Archer and in this video we will make a review of this Hungarian bow from Istvan Schemeister. And there are two things I need to say before we start. This bow doesn't accept any, any compromises. Yeah, let's get started. Technical data. String length 130 centimeters. Max draw length 32 inches. Draw weight of this bow is 40 pounds at 31 inches. Brace height is 18 centimeters. And it's made of zebrano walnut wood combination. From the very first moment, I have a very good feeling of this bow. As you can see, it's pretty solid. You know, it's rugged, robust, so it feels very durable and reliable. Also, it has very narrow arrow pass and very nice grip. So this is a very good combination for aiming and having the best possible feeling from shooting. These are big pluses of this bow right before we start. As you can see me now, I'm shooting Slavic release thumb draw and Mediterranean because this is a Hungarian bow so using Mediterranean is not that <laughs> bad feeling like use it with Asian bows so it's very nice for all of them with thumb release I have little better aiming so I can recommend using this bow with thumb release the aiming test gave me a very solid idea why this bow doesn't like compromises and the reason is very very simple you have to do everything right in 100% quality if not you will miss it's very very simple so if you do something like for example drawing or releasing in 90% 95% it will not be good enough. This bow will teach you how to be 100% with your technique, with your skills. That's the first big plus for those who want to improve themselves and big minus for those who want to have a little forgiving bow. I hold arrows in my bow hand and this bow is like D-shaped and B-shaped together. But if I hold my arrows in a bow hand, I can hold them with fletching close to my hand and it doesn't make this drunk sound and uncomfortable feeling in my hand. I can shoot my way, so this bow is pretty nice for running archery or any other archery when you hold your arrows in a bow hand. Now you see me walking and shooting with this bow and I had the same situation there. If I focused nice and I did all the technical things correct, I hit the target nicely. If I missed, it was only my mistake because I did something wrong. So this bow is a pretty damn hard teacher. And what about my classical running and jumping? This bow is fairly good at both. I had no problem with it. Full sprint, shooting to my left or jumping and shooting to my left. All was okay. I would say that if you are focused, this bow will support you and will give you very nice and strong feeling. And if you're like, nah, what's the weather like and how I feel and you know, well, there's a beautiful car, you will miss. You will miss so badly. So. With this bow, you need to focus, guys. Focus. You know what I mean? I'm a little picky about hand shock. This bow is okay. You feel the hand shock. A little hand shock. But this is nothing that will distract you from shooting and from focusing. And of course, it will be nothing that 
will hurt your arms and make archery harder for you. And right now, let's make my running archery test. I hit six out of six. This bow performs nice. It's okay. I can imagine use this bow like an, on a daily basis and I will be pretty happy with this. This bow is also lightweight. It's not the lightest bow I have, but 360 grams are okay. If you remember other Hungarian bow I have had there to test out, it was also 360 grams. So it feels like Hungarian bows are all 360 grams. I don't know, but these two, yes. And now conclusion time. What are pros and what are cons? One big pro, one big plus I need to talk about right now is that this bow is custom made. And every single bow from Istvan Schemeister is custom made. So if you know what you want, like the length of the bow, draw weight, draw length, brace height, everything of that, you can customize it that it fits yourself, your needs, your archery. So you cannot go to Istvan web pages and be like, I want to buy this one in this length, uh, in this power and order it, send me one. It just doesn't work like this. It works like, okay, tell me what exactly you want and I will make it for you. Another big plus is that this bow feels in your hand like very robust, very reliable and very durable. Another big plus is this very narrow arrow pass. When you aim and you shoot, you know that the arrow will not fly too much to the right or too much to the left, according what style you use and from which side you shoot. Also, another plus is this grip. Very comfortable in a hand. There is a piece of leather, so you are not peeling off your bow with the arrows and also you have pretty nice comfort in your hand. And what are cons? The minus is, for me, a little hand shock. I know, I'm picky. You maybe are not that picky, but I like my comfort while I shoot. Also, it was a plus, but for you, it can be minus. This bow is not forgiving. So you have to be 100% focused, accurate. You have to do all the technical stuff right. So you aim right and you will hit the bullseye. If don't, you will miss completely. Yes, and that's pretty much it. Pros and cons. As you can see, there are a lot of pros and like nothing cons. And you will be completely destroyed when I will tell you what is the price of this custom made bow. Make a guess right now. It's 240 euros plus shipping. For this bow, custom made, brace height, length, power, draw weight, draw length, everything, everything custom made, like amazing. And another plus and minus together is that you need to know what you want. If you're a beginner and you are just looking for your first or second bow, this is not the best choice because you probably still don't know what exactly you want, what exactly you expect from the bow. I would totally recommend this bow to archer who don't want to spend a lot of money and still want to have custom made bow specifically for his needs. You will love this because you can customize everything and the price 240 euros is like what big thanks to istvan schemeister for sending me this bow to have a chance to test it out and i definitely recommend you to check istvan schemeister's website for more of his work because he has several types of bows like turkish this hungarian hunting bows and 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 so on so definitely visit his web page and you know what let me know down in the comments how is your experience with istvan schmeister's bows if you if you know them if you know him if you know his products if you try them or if you have them and let's talk about them so hit the like button, hit the subscribe button also, comment down below and I'm looking forward to seeing you in the next one. Until then, check my other reviews of both because we have 
a lot of them on my channel. So, have a great time and keep on running.